The following tutorial will show you how to build a PDF form in order to collect information regarding applicants looking for employment. We start with a simple XML file that contains the applicant information. We'll use it as a template for creating a static PDF document. Then, we'll modify the generated source to take advantage of the new FO extensions to create a PDF form. Now we can create our XML report. As output format, we want XSL, FO, and PDF. Let's start creating the title, Application for Employment. Then, we create a section called Personal Information. Then we fill the form body with the data we want to capture. For that, we will be using a table with two columns. Here is some basic information we want to capture. We start with first name, then we add rows for last name, street, city, state, zip code, phone number, and if the applicant is currently employed. We want to hide the border in the table and in the cells and change the column width to a 30-70 ratio. Next, we add the live data from the input document. From the data source panel, we drag and drop first name, last name, and the remaining elements. The data binding is complete. We can now save our report and preview the result. The result is rendered in the preview window. The second column contains the data pulled from the input document. Great! It's time for the final placeholder for the Submit button to complete our form. Our report is done. It's time to generate the XSLT code. The whole report has been captured as XSLT transformation that generates an XSLFO document. When we preview the result, Stylus Studio runs the XSLT processor first, then the FO processor and the final PDF document appears directly embedded in the preview window. The first task is complete. Now we want to allow the applicant to review the form and fix any potential error. We need to create a PDF document that can be opened in Acrobat Reader with the initial values and also allow the ability to change these values. We have prepared a small XSLT library that encapsulates the RenderX form extensions for creating text fields, combo boxes, and buttons. We just need to import the library in our main XSLT. We need to replace the static data binding with a call to the text field template the Stylus Studio autocomplete feature that suggests the template name and the parameters, field ID and initial value. When we preview the result, we can see that the field first name is now an edit box. We can use the same approach for the remaining fields, last name, street, city, state, zip code, and phone. For the last field, which indicates if the applicant is currently working, we use a drop-down control. The parameter options allow us to specify which values will appear in the drop-down and which value is selected by default. We run the preview again to see how Acrobat Reader renders the form at runtime. Our drop-down works perfectly. To complete our form, we need to implement the Submit button. The call to action is sending the form as an email attachment. HTTP endpoints can also be used. In the preview window, we can see a new Submit button. The tooltip shows the endpoint where the form will be posted. The project is now complete. Our PDF form is initialized with data from the back-end system, and the applicant may review it and send it back as an email attachment. Now you know how to have fun with the new PDF form capabilities. For more video tutorials, visit stylusstudio.com.